This month, I was working on a control screen and working on fixing any UI bugs that had to do with showing a icon of what the input action keys are. And I stumble over the fact that whenever it wasn't working or it wasn't showing the right key, it had to do with a brush set. I had bought some nice new brushes for my controls so that it's, it's a little more friendly looking. And if I use my gamepad, now it shows that they match the two brush sets. So uh, this one here, uh, but it used to just show, I think it was the, the top D-pad or the bottom D-pad. It wasn't getting this information at all. So that kind of sent me in a little bit of a rabbit hole. And I was mostly curious to find out how it used to work. And then I fixed it to be able to work with enhanced inputs. And for my keyboard brushes, I also had a WASD image for uh, the combination of WASD, so all the keys. And whenever I was trying to use the input action move or whatever was set to these four, it wouldn't show anything at all. So I fixed it for my project. Then I also applied it to my pause menu GitHub. So now I do have a branch that has code. So I guess ignore this because it's no longer just blueprint. I couldn't figure out how to override the logic I needed to override in blueprints. So this is essentially just making this project into code just for one class that is my own action widget. So if you want to dig in or just follow along, you can get my code. So in the my pause menu repo and then my enhanced input code 5.6. Um, so I also updated it to 5.6 and then you can go ahead and download the code either through zip or you can use GitHub to clone. This is the result of the update I did so that brush sets do work. Um, so you can see that at the bottom left corner, though it's really small, there is the WASD brush for move. And then if I swap to gamepad, it updates perfectly to the gamepad brush. And if you're interested in learning more about common UI and how this specific project was set up, I do have a playlist on all those subjects. So enhance inputs, setting up your project with common UI, tab menu, pause menu, dialogues, and now the brush sets were added to this uh, playlist and how i did that is that in my hood i just added this action widget and this action widget that i use for both the move and the interact actions is inside this action widget and my action widget so this one right here that will show up the icon i updated it to use um my new class so I called it MG Action Widget just for the acronym My Game. So you can call it whatever is appropriate for your project. So yeah, this uh, widget action uses the input action move. And I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, set reference viewer. I have it set to a bunch of keys. So WSAD. Um, so the old code it used to just get the brush for w it would just get all the all the keys that were applicable to the input action and it would get it at index zero i had to update it so that it it just gets all of the device appropriate keys and then if there's a brush for it then use that brush set my brush sets are inside uh, content ui foundation platform input and then, okay, then in the keyboard mouse and the common input base controller data. Yeah, those are nice because you can easily s switch up your style. If you don't like this one, you can create a new one with, let's say, a, a pixel style and then use that one. But anyways, so my key brush here is WASD. So now in code... Uh, I was looking to see, okay, well, when does this icon get set? When does this brush get set in the common action widget? And I found one spot. Um, it was called for the update action widget, and it's calling this function get icon. Uh, so I'm just going to na navigate into, so F12 for me. And then depending on if you're using enhanced input actions or not, 
and if enhanced input is supported. Um, so I updated this pause menu project a while ago to use enhanced input support. So yeah, like if, if it's not, it would try to get these input actions and this one still works um, and it checks the keys. It tries to get an input brush from the platform settings with all of the keys. Compared to that, getting the icon for the enhance input, if I navigate to it, you can see that it's just searching for the first key for the current input. It might be because maybe there's multiple ways you can have a input action be bound to multiple keys. Um, I could imagine maybe uh, you both support WASD and you support the uh, arrow keys. Uh, but then in that case, maybe it needs to be uh, handles separately, I guess, like my solution. So yeah, this one calls the same function, but it's only using one key instead of the whole array of keys. So all I did in my action widget is override the get icon. And then I essentially have the same checks that they do in their functionality. Um, the only place where it differs from if you're using Lyra, uh, the only place it changes is I don't have that associated enhanced input variable because I can use uh, this variable here. And also, instead of using the first key, I just get all of the keys that are related to this specific input type. So I don't want to have the gamepad input. Uh, I just want to have um, the keyboard input if I'm using keyboard. So this essentially gets the WASD key, so W-A-S-D, and then it gets the input brush. And this takes care of getting the, the brush set based on if it has all of the keys that are needed to uh, be represented by the brush set. And then if it doesn't use that brush set, then I just make sure to just call the super function and just proceed a business as usual. And with that, I just build and ran my project. And now the action widgets that I was using in my UI were properly showing off their key brushes. This fixed a bunch of my UI issues. I had a UI for contextual actions and it was never displaying WASD or the D-pad brush sets properly. So yeah, now you can use this new class or you can override your own action widget um, so that your uh, key brushes will work. It's nice to have the, the right icon for your actions and use functionality that was already there in the previous input system. If you have any insights as to why uh, the first key used to just be taken, uh, please share in the comments. But yeah, I, I really wanted to share this because it, it fixed a lot of stuff in my UI and made me learn a little bit more about uh, common UI and enhanced input and how it all goes together. It was nice to kind of isolate the problem inside of my own GitHub pause menu repo and update to 5.6. And I wanted to do a little update on my own game dev journey. Uh, I've been busy updating my game Portobello's to 5.6. So updating FMOD and also making volume controls work with FMOD. I gotta thank uh, the Lara DevNet Discord channel for that. And I now applied for a grant and visited family. Uh, so hopefully after all these efforts, that'll help me just get back to the game. And my recording schedule has fallen to the wayside a bit these past two months, but I have some really cool subjects I would like to share next. And I'm hoping that things calm down. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to thank you especially Patreon for keeping on supporting. I am looking forward to a more manageable fall time, that's for sure. I hope that this video was helpful for you and your project, whether you're using Lyra, not using Lyra, if you're using enhanced input and wanted to have some cool uh, key brush sets. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.